I'm going to be giving an introductory overview of Field Service Lightning, a relatively new service from Salesforce. Let's start by talking about how markets are changing. Customer service is becoming more personalized. Technology is becoming more predictive. Instead of products, customers buy services. Tech that used to be on-premises is moving into the cloud, and all markets are shifting from a business-first philosophy to a customer-first one. We live in a connected world. Everyone has multiple devices connected to the Internet. The Internet of Things is only growing, with more and more household products becoming connected, and that means that customer expectations have changed. Customers expect more personalized service. Customer service needs to be accessible anywhere. Businesses need to have a social media presence, and customer data should be stored in the cloud so that it can be accessed anywhere. With expectations like these, it's important to have a strong connection between your customer support agents, your field service dispatchers, and your field service agents. Keeping these people connected and up to date allows them to focus on providing great customer service. Salesforce introduced their new feature, Field Service Lightning, in 2016. It's a field service management package built on Salesforce Service Cloud that connects customers, customer service agents, dispatchers, and field service agents. And it's totally customizable to meet any needs you might have. It features automated work order scheduling based on agent availability, location, and skills. And it's mobile, so agents out in the field can see the information they need anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and show you a demo. We're going to follow a customer service request from the time it's submitted as a case to the time when the field service agent marks the work order complete. We're going to start from the point of view of the customer support agent. We're looking at the service console here. Let's say a customer calls in and wants us to install a generator for them. I'm going to create a new case. I'm going to add some standard Salesforce account and contact. And we're going to associate a product with it, which is our generator. The case shows up right here with all the contact details and any info that the agent would need to know. I created a quick action here that lets us make a new work order right from the case. You can see that the subject is already populated with the case name. I'm going to add a start and end date, which is just the date range in which uh, the customer expects the work to be completed. And I'm going to add a work type. Work types are routine types of services that you normally provide. I'm going to choose generator install. And here you can see that uh, we've set the generator installs to typically take about two hours. I'm going to save that. And now we can see that the work order was created. So let's click that. We've set it up so that a service appointment was automatically created from this work order when it was created, but that's something that you can customize. So let's look at the service appointment. The service appointment is the actual booking for the field service agent to go out and perform the service. Here's where you would add the contact and the address. Notice here how it automatically puts two hours for the duration, and that's from the work type that we chose for their work order. You can change it here though, but we're going to leave it. We'll save this. Now our service appointment is all set up, so let's switch to the dispatcher's point of view. We're going to go to the field service app, and the field service tab. Now we're looking at the Dispatcher console. I'm a bit limited by developer org licenses, but here's where you would see all of your field service agents and what their schedule is. You can see on the left here, the service appointment that we just made is here and it's ready to be scheduled. I'm going to click Candidates for it to show me any of the agents that can be scheduled. The behind the scenes work on how it chooses a candidate is customizable to meet your needs, but we're just using the default settings here. It's only me here, so I'm the recommended candidate. It wants to schedule me for today at 2.06 p.m., so we're going to click Schedule. 
and you can see it pop up on my schedule right here. So right now it's scheduled, but it's not dispatched yet, so let's do that. We're going to switch views to scheduled. Now we can see all of our scheduled service appointments, and I'm going to choose the one that I just scheduled and dispatch it. Click dispatch again. Now you can see that the surface appointment was successfully dispatched. Shows it right here, and it turns blue here as well, showing that it's been dispatched. Now I'm going to switch over to a mobile view, and this is what the field service agent would see out in the field. We can see that this service appointment was just created. And here's where the agent would see all the related information. They can see the address, the estimated duration, and the scheduled start time. I'm going to change the status to in progress to show that I've started working on it. And save it. Now it's in progress. And it changes to purple here, so the dispatcher can see that it's in progress. Now we're going to say that the agent has finished up, and they want to mark that they've completed the work. So I'm going to go back and edit it again. I'm going to change the status to completed. And I'm going to set my actual start and end times. These are the times that I actually started and stopped working. We're going to say it took exactly two hours, because that's how it works. The mobile app works offline, so even if the agent can't access the internet when they're on site, they can still update this information and it will sync once they're reconnected. So we're going to save that, and you can see it turned green here in the dispatcher console. So the dispatcher has an idea of where the field service agents are at all times. Uh, field Service Lightning lets you see this information another way. We're going to see all service appointments and click on the map. And here we can see all of the service appointments and what their status is. So the green checks are complete and the trucks are not complete yet. You can see some of the appointment info and you can click view details to see more. There's your service appointment info right there. Uh, you can also see local traffic to see any difficulties that your field service agents might face. That is an example customer case going from case creation all the way to work completion. Field service lightning allows everyone to be connected throughout the whole process. So field service lightning takes this process and streamlines it. You're more connected to your customers. Service agents are more effective, dispatchers can make more intelligent scheduling decisions, and field service agents can work more efficiently with data at all of their fingertips. So just to review the three main parts I showed in the demo, we started with case creation. Customers can contact a support agent who then creates a case for them. If you have a customer community set up, customers could even create their own cases. Either way, Field Service Lightning lets dispatchers schedule service appointments as intelligently as possible, accounting for things like overtime, travel distance, or anything else you set up. The scheduling automation is totally customizable, but manual scheduling is also possible if that's what you prefer. Once their appointments have been scheduled, field service agents can see any information related to them no matter where they are. It's always at their fingertips. Field Service Lightning even works in offline mode when there's no connection, and it syncs back up once there is a connection. I browsed the Salesforce community to see what kinds of questions people were asking about Field Service Lightning. The overwhelming majority of the questions related to how customizable Field Service Lightning really is. It's built on the Salesforce platform by Salesforce, so it's just as customizable as anything else in your org. Everything from what's prioritized when scheduling service appointments to the way everything is displayed on the screen is totally and completely customizable. If you want to learn more about Field Service Lightning, you can visit salesforce.com slash fieldservicelightning. You can watch a demo, get the free ebook, and get more information.